feels like Mom's making brownies. I love brownies. They're awfully good with milk. How can something be awful and good at the same time? That's a good question, Dinah. Hmm. Maybe somebody else has the answer. Your Majesty. Don't you notice anything? Is it hot in here? Hot? You're not even warm. You don't see anything new? Ah, oh, your hair. No, it's not my hair. <gasps> That's a wig. It looks so real. It is real, you dumb bunny. You don't notice something different? Something is different, wonderful and new your nails. No! I have a new ring. Of course, a ring. Why, it's as plain as the nose on my face. Plain? You think my ring is plain? Oh, no, 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 your majesty. I, I think your ring is... Is what? Is a little too big. Oh, how could it be big and little at the same time? Little is the opposite of big. Well, actually, your majesty, I... I... It's an oxymoron. Oh, that's all I need is another clumsy animal in the palace and stupid to boot. Uh, not an unintelligent ox, Your Majesty. An oxymoron. <laughs> if I may, Your Highness, it's an expression. Two words that are opposites come together to mean something else. Like pretty ugly or real fake. Ugly? Fake? What are you saying about my ring? I'm saying it's too big. <gasps> For those teensy weensy itsy bitty dainty little fingers. <laughs> uh, well, then you'll take my ring to the royal jeweler and have that so called Jack of Diamonds make my ring queen size. And don't you dare lose it. <gasps> oh, no, Your Majesty. In fact, I'll put it right here on my fi my finger. Oh, dear. <laughs> 
seems to be a bit large, even for my finger. Of course, Mumsy always said I had very delicate fingers and toes for a bunny my size. Though she called them diminutive digits. My uncle was... Rabbit! <laughs> See this, Fizz? I want you to make one just like it. So my ring won't slip off your finger. <laughs> Don't worry, Your Majesty. Your ring is safe with me. There. All set for the demonstration. Yeah, and until we whisk away that tablecloth, no one will ever guess in a million years we have a pretzel machine under there. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hatter. Mr. Hare. What's under the tablecloth? The table. Oh, no, not that tablecloth. That tablecloth. Alice, under that tablecloth is our newest invention. And you will never guess in a million years what it is. Is it a pretzel machine? <laughs> Don't look so surprised. It wasn't really that lucky a guess. I just saw that your cookbook was opened up to this page. How to make pretzel dough. Oh. oh. Well, please don't spoil the surprise for the Tweedles. They'll be here soon. We hope they'll be the first to buy our pretzels. Did you need the dough? <laughs> of course we needed the dough. How do you make pretzels without dough? No, I mean knead the dough. Get it ready for baking. No, 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 no. I have bad knees. <laughs> you don't need your knees to knead the dough. You don't? No, you just punch the dough, then push and pull and push and pull. And we'll have better pretzels? Much better. Much better! Under the dough, and I'll practice punching. Punch, punch, punch! All right, Hatter, when you hear the bell, come out swinging. And remember, since we're going to eat the dough, keep it clean. Okay! Hey, what's under the tablecloth? The table. Not that tablecloth. That tablecloth. Yeah, our newest invention. Oh, Mr. Rabbit, come see Mr. Hatter and Mr. Hare's new invention. Oh, dear. I really shouldn't start by. I promised the Queen I would take her ring straight to the royal jeweler. Still, I, I really could use a little break. Then come on in, take a break, and help yourself to some tea. The demonstration's about to begin. <laughs> Looks like we have another customer. A spot of tea really would be nice. Hey, what's oh. the big idea? There's a mouse in this house, you know. Oh, I, I, I must have picked up the wrong teapot by mistake. I'm terribly sorry, Dormouse. Please forgive me. <laughs> Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Ta-da! Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> and now, the moment that will change the shape of dough forever. Ta-da! No, okay. Here, you want to take off the tablecloth here? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Ta-da! <laughs> Not that tablecloth, that tablecloth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I give you the Hatter and Hare spectacular and wondrous pretzel machine. So how's it work, Hatter? First, the dough. No way. We want to taste the pretzels before we buy any. <laughs> uh, dumb. I, I think he meant the pretzel dough, not dough as in money. I knew that. I just wanted to taste the dough first. Mmm. Mm. The dough is awfully good. How can something be awful and good at the same time? Gee, you know, I was wondering about that earlier. Mm. If I may, I believe Dumb used an oxymoron. Oh! <laughs> I thought he used his fingers. So, uh, Hatter, how do you get a pretzel out of this thing anyway? Glad you asked. Allow me to explain. Help me out, Hare. Happy to, Hatter. To make a tasty pretzel, here's all that you need to do. You put the dough in here. And soon the work is through. It's a complicated process. The machine is well designed. There's a meter for the salt. It must be properly aligned. 
Pop goes, pop goes, pop goes the pretzel. Pop goes, pop goes, pop goes the pretzel. Zadubadarida, Zadunzuze. To chow down on a pretzel custom made in Wonderland. It first must bake in this machine, constructed all by hand. There's a unit just for shaping, that's the most important thing. There's a heater and a cooler and a bell that we can ring. Pop goes, pop goes, pop goes the pretzel. Pop goes, pop goes, pop goes the pretzel. We're putting some salt on the twisty dough way. Who are making pretzels the head of their way? Here you go, dumb. I'll give you the honor of tasting the first pretzel. Okay, here, turn off the machine. Well, spectacular and wondrous. And how? <laughs> oh. Oh. Second pretzel. <laughs> Little bonus for you. But after this, no more free samples. Here, would you please turn off the machine? This is costing us money. I'm trying to. It won't shut off. Oh. Oh. Pop down, huh? Alice? Hey. Here, turn off the machine. Oh! Wait a minute. Is that the last one, Mr. Hatter? Must be. The dough ran out. Oh, well, don't worry, Hatter. These pretzels are so delicious that I'll have a couple... Hundred? ...bags. One for me, one for my brother. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Later on. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh. oh, cheer up, you two. You should have no trouble at all selling pretzels that are... <laughs> pretzels that are a scream? What's funny about them? No, no, no. The Queen's ring, it's missing. <gasps> I had it on here when I came in. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. oh, dear, what could have happened to it? Search me. Oh, <laughs> let's see. I came in there, and then I walked over there. Tasted the dough. <gasps> That's it! The dough! Alice, the ring must have fallen off my finger and into the dough. But the dough went into the machine. And the machine made the dough into... Oh, no! That means the ring is in... One of the pretzels. <gasps> no problem. We'll just cut them open till we find it. Wait! You might hit the ring and cut it in half. No. No, I'm afraid we'll just have to... eat our way through all of the pretzels until we find the ring. Oh, Mr. Rabbit's right. At least we won't be wasting food. Now, how do you expect us to eat all these pretzels? Very carefully. I know I wouldn't want to be the one to swallow the Queen's ring. Hmm. Dig in. Kill the bird. Hello, Mr. Caterpillar. I hope you like pretzels. <gasps> I love them. How kind of you to think of me, Alice. Well... To be honest, Mr. Caterpillar, I was really thinking of poor Mr. Rabbit. You see, he accidentally dropped the Queen's ring into the Hatter's pretzel machine, and now it's in one of the pretzels. That makes a pretty pricey pretzel. Yes. And now we have to eat through hundreds of pretzels in order to find the ring. I don't know how we're ever going to find it. It's hopeless. Not necessarily. Just listen to this story. Once there was a private detective bloodhound named Humphrey Bogart. 
he had the world's best sense of smell. But lately, times were hard. Humphrey could barely pay the rent. Then, one day, a beautiful woman came to his office. It seemed her kitten was missing. She was afraid that it was stolen, and she wanted Humphrey to track it down. Normally, Humphrey stayed away from missing kitty cases, but the woman was pretty upset. Plus, she paid him in advance. The trail was cold, but Humphrey's nose was the best in the business. He sniffed for clues far and wide. Finally, Humphrey's nose led him to the kitten, and he hadn't been stolen at all. He had just gotten lost. And not only that, he was no ordinary kitten. He was Kitten Caboodle, famous star of stage, screen, and cat food commercials. Kitten Caboodle's producer was so grateful, she offered to make Humphrey the star of his very own TV show. Thanks to his keen nose, Humphrey became one of Hollywood's top dogs. And at last, he knew the sweet smell of success. Unfortunately, Mr. Caterpillar, we don't have any bloodhounds to sniff out the ring. So we're stuck eating pretzels. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. The ring wasn't in any of the pretzels I gave to Mr. Caterpillar. So that means it has to be in one of these. Let's keep eating. We didn't find the ring, and we went through every last pretzel. I'm sure those were the last pretzels. Of course, we're sure. Well, I just stopped by to remind you, these were the last pretzels. We know these were the last pretzels. No, no, these were the last pretzels. Of course, these were the last pretzels. Now, shoo, cat, shoo. We're in no mood for one of your silly games. Hmm. Try to lend a helping paw and see where it gets you. Sheesh. Wait a minute. Mr. Cat was trying to be helpful. These were the last pretzels. Now, don't you start, Alice. No, don't you remember? You sold two bags of pretzels to Mr. D. <gasps> We've got to find Dumb and D before they eat those pretzels. <laughs> Dumb, what is it that makes pretzels so much fun to eat? I don't know. I, I think it's the shape. You're right. No other snack has all these bends, curves, and twists. Mm. <laughs> mm. There's a tricky little dance that suddenly comes to mind. It's a pretty sticky step, so take a quick stretch before your limbs get intertwined. Believe it or not, you'll get tied up in knots. Here comes pretzel twisting time. Come on, everybody, let's do the pretzel twist. I, I 
need a little help over here. I twisted myself into a pretzel and I can't untwist. <laughs> Dee! <laughs> I need to buy back your pretzels. Don't tell us you ate them all. Oh, please. Anything but that. <gasps> we didn't. We ate only one bag. You didn't happen to find anything in the pretzels, did you? No. Was there supposed to be a surprise in it? It wasn't supposed to be. What did you do with the other bag of pretzels? Oh, I gave the other bag to the queen. <laughs> That's not a problem, is it? I think it is a problem. <laughs> There's nothing like a comfortable chair, a yummy snack, and my favorite soap opera as the palace turns. <laughs> Your Highness, darling. Oh, darling. <laughs> what in the world? Hi, Your Majesty. What's up? Uh, uh, nothing. I just sat down to watch as the palace turns. Oh, my favorite. Oh, you don't mind if we watch with you, do you? Well, actually, I prefer to watch I it. I can't uh... wait to find out what happens to that greedy king. Neither can I, especially after that mysterious call on the princess's phone. Oh, oh well. Oh. oh, pretzels! Don't mind if I do. Anyone want a pretzel? Oh, no, I do. I do. I do. Wait a minute. I don't mind sharing my pretzels, but I didn't get one. Oh. <laughs> all right, that's enough. What's going on around here? Rabbit, are you behind all of these shenanigans? Well, actually, Your Majesty, I am. You see, I sort of accidentally dropped your ring into the Hatter's pretzel dough. What? And it kind of accidentally got cooked into a pretzel. That pretzel, Your Majesty. Well, how do you know it's in this pretzel? Well, because we've eaten all the other pretzels and we didn't find it. So it has to be in that pretzel. Well, I guess I should be the one to eat the last pretzel. Not with those teeth. Here, Hatter, you chew. Hatter! Ah! My ring! You swallowed my ring! But the ring wasn't in that pretzel. Uh, but if it didn't fall into the pretzel dough, what happened to it? I'll get to the bottom of this. Crystal, show me what happened at the Hatters today. As you can see, Your Majesty, first I poured myself some tea, and then I tasted the pretzel dough. But look there. The ring's already missing from your finger before you even reach the pretzel dough. <sighs> Hair's right. Crystal, run that back. <laughs> There! When you picked up the Dormouse's teapot by mistake. There! Did you see that? The ring slid off Rabbit's finger and into the Dormouse's teapot. Ooh. By my fur and whiskers, then the Queen's ring must still be in the teapot! Oh! oh. Hear that? The little guy sleeping. We'll come back later. When pigs have wings, we will. I want my ring back right now, before it ends up in your next batch of pretzels. Oh, get this out of here. How can a mouse get in his sleep with this in his bed? Oh, huh. my ring! Oh. oh. So it never was in one of the pretzels. Which means... We ate hundreds of pretzels? For no good reason? Oh, sorry. My mistake. <laughs> Just think, all this time.
time it was right under our noses. You mean it was under my nose? I was looking for my diary. I wanted to make another entry. At first I didn't worry, but after the discovery, its whereabouts was a mystery. I started getting panicky. When you look Agony turned to irony. Where she found it was less than extraordinary. I took a quick inventory of my recent memory. I was really in a quandary with barely any hope of recovery. When you're looking for something that's missing, well, it's funny the way it goes. Those brownies still smell awfully good. How can something be awful and good at the same time? It's just an oxymoron, Dinah. Alice, do you want some brownies? Uh, no thanks, Mom. I guess I'm a little full. <laughs>